Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope your day and your week are off to a fantastic start. We've got a new day, which of course means a new MLB player prop video to share with you guys. But first, as always, people, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below. It helps the channel grow, and it really does mean a ton to us. We've got a decent MLB slate on tonight, and I have four picks to share with you guys that I'm pretty excited about. But first, before we dive into today's video, we do have to do a quick little recap of how we did last week. And look, guys, overall, it was a solid week. I did four videos in total last week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We had a 12-7 and record across those four videos. We had a really rough start to the week. We went 0-3 on that Monday video, but like the thumbnail says... Over the last three videos, we were on a 12-4 and four run. So after a really rough start, it looked like we were in for a rough week. We really rebounded. had that really nice Tuesday where we went 6-3. and three. We actually had a sweep on Thursday. We went 4-0 oh, um, on Thursday's video. So overall, really solid week, 12-7 and seven overall uh, on the channel or the video series, I should say. And overall in 2024, now a 115-80 prop record, which is absolutely fantastic, if I may say so uh, myself. I do apologize for the fact there was no video on Friday, so we couldn't cap off the week on a strong note, although we did pretty much end on a strong note with that 4-0 no sweep um, on Thursday. But if you guys saw my posts on our YouTube channel, uh, my little six-month-old puppy Bruin uh, fractured his leg early Friday morning, and so um, unfortunately I just could not record Friday. And then if you've ever had a six-month-old puppy with a major injury, trying to keep them steady when they have so much energy is not easy. So I took the weekend off. Apologies for that. Uh, go ahead and comment Bruin down below in the comments. If you're watching, I really would appreciate that. Uh, the little guy is, he's feel, I mean, he seems like he's okay, but obviously it's a long road to recovery. He's got a fractured bone and also some joint damage. Uh, so pretty rough injury for the little guy, but hoping that he, he uh, makes a full recovery. So comment Bruin down below. Prayers up for my dog. All right, guys, with that out of the way, let's dive into today's video. All right, guys, I wasted no time jumping right into the Outlier screen, guys. Shout out to Outlier, the best sports betting tool on the market and the sponsor of today's video. Guys, if you want to make money in the sports betting landscape, you've got to have the right tool by your side, especially with football coming up. College football starts on Saturday. By the way, program note, I will be back doing college football videos this year. Starting this Saturday, we'll have our first video of the year uh, for the first few games on Saturday, as well as if you guys haven't checked out uh, H2H episode one for season two already was released last week. So we have football content already coming here on the channel. Make sure to check that out. But with football coming, you want to make sure you have a proper sports betting tool to help you make some real money this football season. Guys, Outlier can do that for you. It's the best sports betting tool. It consolidates all the data together in one special place. Link down below in our description. It gives you guys a seven-day free trial. Do check it out for yourself. Shout out to Outlier for sponsoring today's video. All right, guys, first pick of today's slate, we're going to the Orioles-Mets game, 7-10 p.m. first pitch. We're going Francisco Lindor of the New York Mets over one and a half total bases. This prop is available on Caesars for plus 102, Bet365 for plus 100, Underdog for minus 104, FanDuel minus 105, and DraftKings for minus 105. As always, guys, make sure to shop around for the best sportsbook odds available. Uh, Data looks pretty decent on this one of late for Francisco Lindor. You see seven of his last ten games, he has cashed the over with an average of 2.7 total bases per game. Although the recent data looks good, the overall data is not fantastic. See, just a 44% hit rate this year uh, for Lindor. 55 out of 124 games, he's cashed the over. With an average of 1.92 total bases per game. So he's averaging more than 1.5 bases per game. Uh, but you see he has a couple of big games in there that obviously skew the data. Uh, but still, 44% not great, but not the worst we've seen. The important thing here is he's been really good of late. Even if you go to the last 20 games, 10 of his last 20 games, at a 50% hit rate. Average of 1.9 total bases per game. So, you know, data's pretty decent for the most part. And look at the head-to-head -head data. Now, this, of course, goes back to last season, but two of his last three meetings uh, with the Baltimore Orioles, he has cashed the over with an average of 2.33 total bases per game versus the Orioles over the last three meetings. Looking down below at the key matchup stats, Francisco Lindor versus Trevor Rodgers, you have 20 plate appearances, a pretty large sample size uh, for a head-to-head -head matchup. 20 plate appearances since 2018 uh, versus Trevor Rodgers. A, just a 222 batting average, not fantastic. Uh, 250 OBP, 270 at slugging percentage. He's got four hits, five total bases, one extra base hit off of Rodgers since 2018. Looking at the splits down below, Francisco Lindor, 264 batting over, average overall. You do see a slight dip to 260 there versus left-handed pitchers. Uh, I'm not too concerned with that. Again, it's pretty much the same numbers. BABIP does take a little bit of a more significant drop uh, to 252, but his ISO significant increase to 267, and his extra base hit percentage just about 56% versus left-handed pitchers. So really good number there. I like that spot there, that 56% uh, extra base hit percentage. And looking at Trevor Rodgers, the matchup seems pretty good on paper. 560 ERA overall versus right-handed batters. 
this season. 312 batting average allowed versus right-handed batters overall, 285. So it is an increase over what is already a very high number. Uh, the slugging percentage you do see red, but it's the same thing. 457 versus 455, it's the same thing. And the extra base hit percentage just take a little drop to 34.3, but still 34.3 is pretty high. And again, the 55, the nearly 56% um, extra base hit percentage for Lindor is very promising here. So look, it's not the best data of all time, but I do think there are some marks there that show why this could be a cash tonight. And you look at the odds, you're getting it for almost even odds or plus money, depending on your sports books. I'll go ahead and take the risk on this one again. That 56% extra base hit percentage, the fact that Rodgers is giving up a 312 batting average versus right-handed batters this season, Landor, of course, being a switch hitter. Um, I, I just think it's a really solid matchup here for Landor either way. I know the, the data versus Rodgers overall isn't the best, but he has had some hits off of him, some success off of him. So I'm going to go ahead and ride with this for nearly even odds. All right, guys, for our second prop of today's slate, we're moving on to the Angels-Royals game, 8-10 p.m. first pitch. We're going Salvador Perez of the Kansas City Royals over half a strikeout. This prop is available on DraftKings from minus 145 and BetMGM from minus 145. And like the last prop, which the data was decent for the most part, this one, the data is, de is, is fantastic across the board. Uh, you see nine of his last ten games, he's cashed the over um, with an average of 1.1 strikeouts per game. You stretch that out to the last 20 games, still really fantastic. 16 of his last 20 games, he's cashed the over, an 80% hit rate with an average of 1.05 strikeouts per game over the last 20 games. In 2024 so far, a 58% hit rate on this over for Salvador Perez. You see 70 of 121 games this year. He has cast the over an average of .82 strikeouts per game. And the head-to-head -head data is pretty solid. Six of his last nine meetings with the Angels, he's cashed the over. It's a 67% hit rate, an average of .89 strikeouts per game. He's played them four times so far this year, a 50% hit rate this season. The last time they played on May 12th, he did cash the over. But two out of four matchups so far this season versus the Angels, he's cashed the over. And if that data didn't convince you, the data down below probably should. Uh, we have the insights provided by Outlier. Salvador Perez has exceeded half a strikeouts in eight straight games, an average of 1.1 strikeouts per game average over his last eight games. Look at the matchup versus Carson Fulmer. You see four plate appearances since 2018. He hasn't struck out off of him yet, but he also hasn't gotten a hit off of Fulmer yet. It is a small sample size, though. Uh, only four plate appearances. Uh, Salvador Perez versus right-handed pitchers in 2024, a 264 batting average, which is actually a decrease from his overall 276, which obviously fares well for us. His strikeout percentage is high at 20.3%, but it's about the same as his overall mark. But... Looking down below at Carson Fulmer, a 24.8% strikeout rate versus right-handed batters at 24.8 versus at 20.3. That's very, very encouraging for our success here. The walk percentage is a little high at 7% for Salvador Perez, but I'm not too concerned about that. A pitcher with a really high strikeout rate and a batter with a really high strikeout rate, that's a recipe for an absolute cash when it comes to strikeout props. For minus 145 for a reason, I absolutely love this prop. All right, guys, for our third prop of today's slate, we're actually going to go ahead and stick with this same uh, Angels-Royals game. We're going to go Anthony Rendon, though, of the Angels, under one and a half hits, runs, RBIs. Uh, it's available on prize picks for minus 119, DraftKings for minus 120, and BetMGM for minus 120. Again, another prop where the data is pretty solid. You see seven of his last ten games, Rendon has cashed the under, an average of 1.1 HRRs per game. If you go ahead and stretch the data out to his last 20 games, it's still it's really solid, 70% hit rate. Over the last 20 games, 14 of his last 20, he's cashed the under, an average of 1.15 HRRs per game. So this is not just a recent thing for Anthony Rendon. This has been pretty consistent. If you look at the season data overall, it really does paint the picture. Now, he's only played 40 games this year for the Angels, but in 27 out of 40 games, he's cashed the under. It's a 68% hit rate, an average of 1.43 HRRs per game. So small sample size, yes, but the data when he has played this year for the Angels has been really, really good in our favor. And the head-to-head -head data here, each of the last two times he's faced off with the Royals, both being last season, uh, he did go ahead and cash the under. Now looking down below at the key matchup stats, surprisingly for a batter who's, who's struggled the last few years since joining the Angels, he's had some success off of Seth Lugo since 2018. You see eight plate appearances, 429 batting average, he has three hits. One RBI, a 12.5% strikeout rate. Um, you know, I mean, it's only eight plate appearances, but still, he's had some success. 500 OBP uh, versus Lugo. Pretty good numbers versus one of the better pitchers in baseball um, of late. Overall this year, Rendon, 235 batting average. However, versus right-handed pitchers, you do see a slight dip to 220. Uh, Rendon's had a little bit more success off of left-handed pitchers this season. Looking at Seth Lugo, uh, it's the opposite. Versus right-handed batters, 210 batting average allowed. It's actually better than his overall mark of 227, which is very good to begin with. You do see his ERA jump from 304 to 356. I'm not too concerned about that here. Uh, I like the matchup here for Anthony Rendon. For minus 120 odds, I'm surprised this isn't a little bit higher. Um, I know it kind of Rendon's a little unpredictable because he had some some success off of Lugo. He's only had played in 40 games, so it's really tough to get a read on him. But I think the data – I don't actually I don't think it's really tough to get a read on him. The data paints a pretty clear picture. 
He's not really a hitter who's had a lot of success this year. I like the spot of this under from minus 120 odds. Actually, really great value. All right, guys, for the fourth and final prop of today's slate, we're moving on to the Mariners-Dodgers game, 10-10 p.m. first pitch. We're going Brian Wu here, under 5.5 hits allowed. I'm available on DraftKings for minus 140, Underdog minus 146, BetMGM minus 155, and Caesars for minus 163. Now, at first glance, you guys may not love the matchup versus a Dodgers team that's pretty damn good, but I promise you the data is really convincing that this is going to be a cash tonight. For us. You still get the last the recent data. Nine of his last ten games, Brian Wu has cashed this under of five and a half hits allowed the, with an average of four point five hits allowed per game. The only game where the over cash was on uh, was on July twelfth versus the Angels. He gave up nine hits at what was a six five loss for Seattle. So pretty decent marks there for Brian Wu. Over the last 20 games, we go ahead and stretch data even farther. 19 of his last 20 games, he's cashed the under with an average of 3.85 hits allowed per game. This data, of course, stretches back to last season as well. But 19 of his last 20 games, really solid data there for Brian Wu at this 5.5 hits, uh, hits allowed mark. And you do see, if you look at the data, there's a couple of close calls there. Five hits, uh, five hits, five hits, five hits. A couple of close calls, but he doesn't really go over that line of 5.5. In 2024 so far, a 93% hit rate for Brian Wu. 13 out of 14 games this year for the Mariners. He's cashed the under with an average of four hits allowed per game this season. Again, beside, the only game this year where he's cashed the over was on the July 12th matchup versus the Angels where he had nine hits allowed. Besides that, he's been a consistent cash on this under all year long. Now, to be fair, this line probably is very rarely at five and a half hits. It's probably more at four and a half uh, because they look at the numbers. But because of the matchup here, the odds makers probably put the line a little bit higher. But if you ask me, even at minus 140, the value on this prop is still really solid. The insights provided by Outlier, Brian Wu has failed to exceed 5.5 hits allowed in 12 of his last 13 games on the road. It's an average of 4.2 hits allowed per game average over that span on the road. So on the road, Brian Wu has been even better, or on par, I should say, with his overall production. Uh, looking down below, now the Dodgers, obviously, we, we hear the big bad Dodgers. They spend all this money. They have, this, they have some insane hitters, Mookie Betts, Shoatani. I can go on and on. We know what the Dodgers are. We know who they have. But the data is the data, and the Dodgers batting versus right-handed pitchers, it's good, but it's not as good as you might think when you think of the Dodgers. They have a 252 batting average as a team overall versus right-handed pitchers, which is a good mark. It's 13th best in Major League Baseball over the last 30 games, but 13th, it is top half of the league. It's not this otherworldly offense like sometimes we like to think the Dodgers are. Uh, overall, they're 12th in the year, a 248 batting average. Their strikeout percentage is actually pretty high at 24.2, uh, which is 18th in Major League Baseball, which obviously is good in our favor. Uh, their BABIP, 13th, and their hard-hitting percentage, 14th. So, um, you know, again, they're a top half percentage in almost all these categories. It's a decent offense. It's a good offense. I wouldn't go as far as saying it's a great offense right now. It has it has some great hitters, and yeah, he can, he can get rocked off a couple of these guys. But overall, the data is the data. The Dodgers batting is good, not great by number standards. And looking at Brian Wu this year, the batting average allowed 204 overall. It's a 91st percentile, 96th percentile in BABIP. His strikeout percentage at 19.6 is a little on the lower side, but not bad. His hard hitting percentage 21 20.9, 20 99th percentile. And his ERA 206, 99th percentile. So really good numbers across the board here for Brian Wu. And look, the Mariners may lose this game. Brian Wu could give up four earned runs. Who knows? But I think when it comes to hits allowed, I think him keeping it under six, keeping it, uh, he can go up to five hits allowed. I just can't imagine he'll be in there for six hits or more in this game. Again, Dodgers are a team that could definitely do it, but the numbers are the numbers. I do like Brian Wu in this spot. Even for minus 140, I think it's a really great value. All right, guys, so that's today's picks. Quick little recap of all four picks from today's slate. We have Salvador Perez over half a strikeout. Anthony Rendon under one and a half hits runs RBIs. Brian Wu under five and a half hits allowed. And Francisco Lindor over one and a half bases. And again, the link for these picks will be down below in the description and also in the pinned comment. It's very simple. You can go ahead and look at which, which sportsbooks offer which picks. Underdog, shout out Underdog. Uh, we do a special link down below in our description. Or use promo code GUYBOSSON. They'll match your first deposit up to $250 and get a special, free, uh, special pick added uh, for your uh, first-time deposit. So really solid offer. All four bets are available on Underdog today, as well as DraftKings. Those are the only two sports books that give all four picks. And then, you know, there's FanDuel 1. It shows you all the different sports books and which of these props they offer. So it's very easy to follow along. Thanks to Outlier. So, guys, that is it for me today. Thank you very much, as always, for watching. One more time, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below. Uh, thank you very much for your patience again over the weekend with the whole uh, dog situation. I really do appreciate it. I know, again, I, I'm probably the most inconsistent guy in, in the YouTube marketplace, and I apologize for that. Um, just life gets in the way sometimes, guys. But uh, I will be back tomorrow, God willing. I'll be back tomorrow with another MLB Player Prop video. Until then, guys, I hope you're all winners. Enjoy your Monday.